The people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. If this doesn't describe the country of Haiti and the situation in Haiti, a place of darkness and hopelessness and despair. But God sent a light. And I'm sure you've heard by now the tragic news that three missionaries had lost their life due to gang violence and the unrest and the chaos and utter darkness and evil that is taking place in Haiti. And the world lost some heroes. Paul said, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel, that bring glad tidings of good things. How beautiful are the feet of them upon the mountain. He's quoting Isaiah. Missionaries are our heroes. When I hear the news and you can look and read articles and you can start to look into comments and read things that people are saying, you'll say, well, I told you so moment, or they should have known better. They should have never stuck their nose where it didn't belong. What a waste. What a wasted life. What a waste of time. Why would you even reach out to these people? They don't deserve it. When God calls a missionary, it's not a job. It's not an occupation. It's not a nine to five. It's not clocking in and clocking out and looking and hoping for a pension and a retirement. When God calls a missionary and a missionary responds, they're responding to a calling. It's so much more than a job or an occupation. If you're outside of the kingdom, you don't understand this. If you're outside of the kingdom, you don't understand. You can't even see the kingdom until you've been born of the water and of the spirit. Until there's that new birth, that rebirth in you. You can't see or understand the way the kingdom works. But when God calls somebody to a place, he puts a burden on their heart and he puts a love inside of them for a people people that might not even be their people, a place they might not even have any familiar with, familiarity with, or maybe they do have extreme familiarity with, and God calls them to just love this place and serve this place and minister in this place and preach the gospel to this place. It's more than just an occupation. It's responding to a calling, an intention that God has placed in your life. People that respond to a calling of God are heroes, should be celebrated and looked up to. We should teach our kids, this is somebody to admire. This is somebody to pray for. And this is somebody that whose footsteps you want to follow. Somebody who's, who's living for something more. Living for something more than, than themselves. Giving out of themselves and pouring out of themselves rather than living a life trying to reap to themselves. Something beautiful, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. Gospel preachers everywhere we need to pray for. Missionaries everywhere we need to pray for their safety. We need to pray for their health. We need to pray that God would open doors and give them favor and allow them to do the work that he has called them to do, to strengthen them, to give them boldness, When Paul writes and he's going through the heroes of faith, he says, through faith, they obtained a good report. Through faith, they subdued kingdoms. They stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the fiery darts. Some of them received their dead back to life. Others, some of them were sawn asunder. Some of them lost their lives. Some of them gave their lives. Some of them were stoned. And goes on to say, of whom the world was not worthy. When people give their lives for the gospel, when they put themselves in situation that others would run from and 
lose their life tragically, we can say that the world that they were in was not worthy of the gift God was trying to give them. But God is so good. Love your enemies. Do good to them who despitefully use and abuse you. Rather than being critical of missionaries that go out into dangerous and dark places, pray for them. Pray for their families. Pray for their protection. Pray for their, their, their boldness and pray for their strength and pray for their health. Support them. These should be heroes to you, heroes to us. And so when we hear these things, we hear about these tragedies, it's more than just a missionary or somebody doing a good deed. The kind of missionary that preaches the gospel and brings the gospel is so much more than just humanitarian. It's so much more than something political. It's so much more than just trying to influence a situation. It's more than just giving out bread and helping to feed somebody. And those are great things. Orphanages, building orphanages, taking care of the widowed and the fatherless and the motherless. Doing those good works. That's what God has called us to do. Once we're saved, we have good works to do. But more important than all of that, to preach the gospel of the kingdom, to let people know that there is one God and Jesus is his name and he shed his blood for you. Letting them know that we can be tied to that blood, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, that we can rise to newness of life with the infilling of the Holy Ghost and God can empower us to be his witness that he can prepare us for his coming, that he can prepare us for anything in life or in death through the power of the Holy Ghost, the infilling of the Holy Ghost. When we bring that message, when a missionary, and I'm just here on the couch in my little studio room, But there's people out there giving everything that God has called them to a place. And we want to sit back from a place of comfort and criticize for somebody that's making a major impact in the world. If somebody's preaching the gospel that way, that loss is so much more than just losing humanitarian aid and those things are great and they're wonderful and they're good but a preacher of the gospel is the greatest light the message is of the kingdom is the greatest message there's nothing like it eternal salvation outweighs immensely immeasurably in eternity more than a loaf of bread more than any other skill or any other thing that we can offer to people. And those things are great. But the message of the gospel, for for a country like Haiti to lose missionaries, to lose preachers of the gospel, that is a more devastating loss than when they lost their president. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is a kingdom that cannot be defeated. This is a kingdom that will not crumble to evil. This is a kingdom that will not be comprehended by darkness. When God shines a light, into a place, into a people, darkness cannot comprehend it. That light will shine. How beautiful are the feet of them who bring this gospel. So we thank God for 
these missionaries that brought gospel to people in a dark place. May their sacrifice Jesus said, unless a seed dieth, it abideth alone. But if it die, it's going to bring forth much fruit. Pray that their sacrifice in the kingdom will flourish, will move upon the people of Haiti, will move upon those children in the orphanages, will move upon the young men and the young women that they ministered to will move upon people that they were pouring their lives into and training to preach the everlasting gospel, to turn the situation around. When the church was first born, the church had the reputation of these are they which have turned the world upside down. Pray that their sacrifice will reach people, impact people, move people. That the presence of the Holy Ghost will move inside of them, empower them, embolden them to take what is upside down in Haiti and flip it right back on its feet. Take it, place it on solid ground. Pray for missionaries in every country, in every language, to every kindred, to every tongue that are going into every city. It doesn't have to be outside of countries. It doesn't have to be outside of the United States. It could be in the next city, across town, in in the next state. But men and women that are responding to the call of God to go and bring the gospel to a people who have no hope, pray for them. Pray for them. We need to love and support each other in moving this kingdom forward. This world, say this world is not my home. I'm just passing through. And while I'm passing through, God, help me. Help me to do the most that I possibly can for you and for your kingdom. God bless you so, so much. May God protect you and keep you, strengthen you, bring you peace, bring peace to these families, bring peace to the country of Haiti in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord.